Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, and today I want to share my thoughts about attic insulation. Should you install fiberglass blown in insulation or perhaps cellulose blown in insulation? Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to attics, basements, crawl spaces, and duct work when it comes to indoor air quality and improving your home's energy efficiency. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. All right, so I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. I used to think cellulose was kind of a racket, right? I mean, it, typically most cellulose is made of paper. And the thought of me installing paper in my attic was a little weird. But then I started looking into cellulose and fiberglass and things like that. And honestly, it's gonna be up to you which one you decide. So I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of each, and then that way you can decide which one you feel is better. So the first thing I wanna talk about is fire resistance. Now, there is a lot of information out there, a lot of people doing videos with blow torches and blow torching fiberglass and cellulose and all that, but both are relatively fire resistant. Fiberglass is naturally fire resistant while cellulose has an additive to make it fire resistant. So if you're looking for a fire resistant blown in insulation, either would work. Okay, the second point about cellulose versus blown in fiberglass is that the dust factor of cellulose is kind of off the chart. I mean, I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. When we install cellulose, because it's made of paper, it's very finely ground up and the dust is ridiculous. So if you're gonna do a DIY project or have a contractor install cellulose in your attic, make sure that they have some kind of negative air or HEPA air scrubber or even more. Maybe they put HEPA air machines in the living space and then have negative air sucking that dust out of an attic eave or, or uh, maybe the gable vent or something like that because it is super dusty. While fiberglass, it's still a little dusty, but nothing compared to cellulose. Okay, so the third thing about cellulose is that you can actually get it with pest control, okay? So they do make some products out there that are treated with borate which are designed to kill like ants and termites and things like that, where fiberglass, not so much. It's just a blown in insulation. Now, don't let somebody talk you into installing cellulose uh, to get rid of spiders or even mammals, okay? So cellulose with borate does not really have a whole lot of effect on spiders or raccoons or possums or things like that. So, but as far as those six-legged critters, those uh, ants and termites and maybe box elder bugs and things like that. Cellulose that's treated with borate is a great way to control those infestations in your attic. Okay, one other thing. I believe this would be the fourth difference between cellulose and fiberglass. What we have found is that they both are pretty good at sound barrier, but cellulose seems to be a little better at sound barrier reduction okay so if you're looking if you're if you're in a neighborhood where you've got a lot of noises and things like that you know maybe uh you're near an industrial area or downtown or something a lot of road noise uh, perhaps a cellulose installation would be a better choice for noise reduction and one other thing about cellulose as far as noise reduction is you can actually blow cellulose in uninsulated walls. You can do it with fiberglass too, but it's a little bit easier to use cellulose in say a, an outside wall. Maybe you got an older home that was built that they didn't really insulate the outside wall. You don't really want to use a pour in place spray foam or something like that. You can actually cut a little hole in the wall and then blow the cellulose down in the wall cavity and it's going to be a great insulator and a great noise reducer. Okay, but the last thing, the biggest reason why I chose to install cellulose in my house was because it seems to be a better insulator. As a matter of fact, take a look at this uh, little video here where we have a hot light and we have cellulose being compared to fiberglass. Cellulose does not stop air movement. 
It does help, it's more compact, but what it does do is it really does stop the transfer of heat better according to this experiment versus fiberglass, which is why I chose to install cellulose in my house. We can actually get a better R value with less cellulose, okay? So hope those are helpful for your tips of whether you're looking to choose cellulose versus fiberglass. And my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We're gonna put a link below. We're still trying to give away that April Air dehumidifier. Once that video gets to 500 likes, I'm gonna put a link to that below and I hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.